It's said that if you jump into water when an explosion occurs, you can escape unharmed. To test this rumor, Jimmy started with small-scale experiments. First, they needed to determine the reach of an explosion's shockwave. These are blast pressure sensors. They were placed inside cylindrical housings. If the surrounding pressure exceeded a human-safe threshold, the aluminum casing would break. Adam arranged the sensors in a row and labeled each one. Next, they detonated C4 10 feet away. All sensors within a 10-foot radius of the blast point ruptured. With the lethal distance established, they moved on to the control test. They placed one sensor inside a water-filled tank and another next to the tank in the open air. The explosive was suspended 10 feet above both sensors. After detonation, the exposed sensor in the air shattered, while the one submerged in water remained intact. High-speed cameras showed that the water indeed absorbed the shockwave and reduced the risk of damage, so the rumor had some credibility. They then scaled up the test. They built a platform in the middle of a lake and placed C4 on it. Buoys were positioned at 5, 10, 20, and 50 feet from the blast site, and each buoy housed sensors at 5 and 10 feet below the surface. To make the testing more rigorous, they used two types of explosives, gasoline and nitroglycerin-based charges. First, they tested 8 gallons of gasoline. Although the gasoline blast looked powerful, only the sensor at the 5-foot surface mark failed. The others were unharmed. Next, they detonated a 50-pound nitroglycerin charge. Its pressure wave traveled at up to 1,000 feet per second, and the blast destroyed nearly every device, except for the two underwater sensors at the 50-foot mark. Those survived. These results show that diving underwater can indeed shield you from some effects of an explosion, but how well it works depends heavily on the type and strength of the explosive.